Alright, welcome back everyone to twen episode 24 of the Dark Moon Diaries. This time we don't have professional voice acting with us. So, uh, let's just move on with the main story quest. Finally. So I missed the first line with the manager sweet says. If so, I would strongly advise you not to stray too far from the Crystarium. Word has it Yulmore has dispatched its military to Lakeland. Given the timing, one can only assume they do not welcome the return of night. Even now, the Exarch is in the ocular, deliber deliberating a response. I'm gonna go through the cutscene first, and then we'll... You know what? We might as well pick up the other quest too while I'm here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right? The new week. Wait, it's you. It's really you. You actually came. I mean, uh, never mind. <clears throat> You're here to hunt Andrea with me, yes? Of course you are. Why else would you be here? And wouldn't you know it? One of my hirelings should be returning with any oh, sorry, with new information any minute now. Greetings, my lord. I'm pleased to report that Andrea was recently sighted at Amarang, in the vicinity of Samael's backbone, it would seem. Apparently, there was a right vicious spider that was what was giving folks trouble, and now that it's been turned, it's about a dozen times worse. They'd be grateful for any assistance. I see, I see. Well done, my friend. Your payment, as promised. Why bother going out and about pestering the small folk for news when you can employ others to do it for you? The better to devote our precious time to rather more important matters, I say. And owing to my winning strategy, we may now depart for Amarang in the delightfully named Samael's backbone. For in pursuing the spider, we may yet find its maker. Oh, by the way, we should probably teleport to Twine and do the rest of the Aether Currents there. We'll do that off stream tomorrow. Well, since it's getting later at night, we could till totally late. Just did the last Crystarium up here, and then that probably will take us out of Crystarium. The Crystarium. Like, hmm. for our next quest, and then... So you're saying do the main story first? Yeah. Oh, did you already do this one up here? Which one? No, 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 no. You're ahead of me. I am on the main story quest, uh, an unwelcome guest. Yeah, then you have to go downstairs at the end here. Well, I talked to the dude up here. Okay, so you're going there. <laughs> yeah, I have cut the cutscene now. Yeah. Do you have business with the Crystal Exarch? Just say the word and I would be happy to escort you to the ocular. Now I just want to sub. Mm -hmm. You are coming at a good time. As you may have heard, we have something of a problem. I still want Osmos. <laughs> Most I suppose the sky does rather give the game away. I can't afford it. 
It was inevitable they would come knocking. The only question was. Wow, all that stuff already sold. Moment, Captain, if you would. Everyone, gather round. I do not wish to show our hand prematurely. Forgive me this liberty. Fadish. Enter. Yeah, not tonight. Maybe a different day. Look at Osmos. Well, well. The commander of the Yulmoran army himself. Did you stop recording? To what do I owe the honor, General mm -hmm. Ranji? Mm -hmm. Recording. Warden is dead, Exarch. Were your people responsible? You are clearly in some haste, my lord. But before I uh, address your question, you must allow me one of my own. What is Yulmor's interest in this? His benevolence, Lord Vorthry, is gravely concerned that the actions of an ignorant few may jeopardize relations between man and sin eater. Should it transpire that the Crystarium is guilty of abetting the villains responsible for this outrage, my lord has decreed that it suffer the same retribution. I see. Since you have been so kind, I too shall speak my mind. Regardless of who is responsible, the Crystarium rejoices in the Light Warden's death and welcomes the return of the Night Sky. If Yulmor considers this tantamount to aiding those you term villains, then by all means, carry out your retribution. Know, however, that even should every innocent soul in the Crystarium perish, nothing can stop that which has been set in motion. of one or a thousand thousand sin eaters changes nothing by the way hmm? we should probably start doing the dungeons the first time with our trust with uh, the AI because they actually have some interesting interactions with it so we won't be in the dungeon together but it adds to the story doing it with the trust the first time We don't have to. We can always just replay with the trust instead. For our own benefit later. The world is dead. We writhe as we might. Like dragons, its rotting course. It will not be reborn. Only by my master's grace may we live out our days in peace. But I waste my breath. You have made your stance clear. I shall relay your words to Lord Vorthry. In the meantime, you would do well to counsel any here who have done more than merely rejoice in recent events to throw themselves upon you Moore's mercy promptly. One last matter. 
They're searching for a young artist and his assistants. Know you of whom I speak? An artist and his assistant, no. I cannot <coughs> see do. What a pity. Should they reveal themselves to you? I bid you hand them over at once. <coughs> My master is most eager to see them again. Oh dang, never mind, Osmos is closed anyway. Mm. <laughs> so Wednesday maybe? Am I imagining things with a huge stare straight at us? I fear he did. The general is not a man to be tried to. He is a warrior of fierce and repute who has led Yulmor's army since before Vorthyr's time, when the nation still spearheaded the fight against the Sin Eaters. One does not command the world's mightiest army in oh, so sure. long without possessing I haven't exceptional haven't replied to anyone in a while. Um. <coughs> if Yulmor chose to send such an individual, we must assume this talk of retribution is more than an idle threat. While we are grateful for your support, my lord, we cannot in good conscience put your people in harm's way. It is noble of you to say, Master Alpino, but my people have been in harm's way since long before you arrived. Yulmor has ever yearned to rule over what remains of the world. Even should we surrender the warrior of darkness to them, they would find some <coughs> context upon which to invade. The people of the Crystarian know this only too well. Which is why, when the time comes, I am certain they will fight to the last man. If truth be told, I would not have been surprised if Ranjit declared war here and now. He may have reason to delay. Mm. According to reports, the Yulmoran forces of Luxembourg were observed taking a prisoner. A young woman believed to be none other than the Oracle of Light, Nymphilia. It may be that General Ranjit wishes to convey her to Yulmor before commencing hostilities. Having mentored generations of Minfilias, it would not surprise me if he had made her capture his chief concern. Generations of Minfilias, what? Yeah. Uh, of That's why I was like, ooh. Uh, I had intended to speak to you of Minfilia. There is, however, much to say and precious little time in which to say it. I think it best that you seek out Moren at the Cabinet of Curiosity. He'll be able to enlighten you. Alphano, Alize, would you care to accompany your friend? You doubtless have insights of your own to offer in the matter. All right. No, I'm still not sure I understand it all myself. In the meantime, I will set about making provisions for war. Amarang first? Oh no, the Cabinet of Curiosity first, right, you said? Yeah. yeah. Go to the Cabinet of Curiosity first.
go here. Oh yeah, I see it right there. We clearly haven't recorded in a while because we're just being quiet the whole time. We <laughs> gotta remember how to do videos. <laughs> and we're gonna have videos soon, like cameras going on soon. Which will only show me because someone doesn't want to appear on video. I'm too bad. No. You're gonna appear on video. I'm just gonna aim it at you. I'm trying to get a good, healthy chili recipe from Droobs. Oh, you don't like our chili recipe? I don't think I've had it. Other than at your sister's, and no, I did not like that one. Wow. Um, to me, it had no flavor. Don't, mother. That's fine. It genuinely felt like it was missing something. I, mean, I don't oh, know yeah, if that's it's considered. My sister's. Huh? Yeah, it's my sister's, and they like don't they can't handle Tabasco. That's the thing, so I guess that might have been why. Like, do you have a recipe that I could try making? Cause it's like, is it is chili somewhat healthy? It has all that beef in it. Oh, I would swap out beef. I'd probably do a leaner meat, like ground chicken or something, or do a vegetarian version. Which just doesn't have the meat in it. Mm. That's not chili. <sighs> By the way, it was at the bottom, second one around. We could also use turkey. Mm -mm. I'm not do turkey enough. I would do chicken. I would do ground chicken in it. Yes. If you're after books pertaining to the Warrior of Darkness, I'm afraid most are out on loan at present. They're experiencing quite a surge in popularity. <coughs> oh, you wish to learn about the Oracle of Light? Then it would be my pleasure to assist. After I have finished off some few outstanding tasks, that is. While I attend to them, perhaps you could fetch me a book. The Illustrated Tale of the Oracle of Light, it's called. Though it's intended for younger readers, it provides an excellent summary of the subject matter, and the artwork is quite lovely besides. I would not hesitate to recommend it to anyone with an interest in learning about Minfilia, but you must see for yourself. The book should be located on the level below. Should, I say. For while there is a place for everything here, not everything is always in its place, despite my best efforts. In short, if the book is not where it should be, it will most certainly be somewhere it shouldn't. So, uh, good luck. All the way down, bro. On the ground? Like floor? Yep. That one. I'm inside the shelf. Yeah, secret passage. Oh, it didn't give it to you? It did. Oh. Remember the thing where we went and there was the draw and there was a crock um, pot up? Oh, that may have more sound like Have you found the book? 
Why, yes, good sir. Yes, I have. Yes, this is the one! I hope it wasn't too difficult to track down. I'm happy to say I've finished all my pressing tasks. If you want to call your friends over, we can begin learning at once. Ooh, teach me. I think I'm gonna do like a 45 minute episode. Without further ado then. Jump to our deaths. Hmm? So jump to our deaths. It began a hundred years ago, when the flood of light threatened to swallow Navrant. Just as all seemed lost, a savior appeared who halted the all-consuming radiance. A maiden with hair of spun gold and eyes of clearest sapphire. Naught was known about her save that her name was Minfilia, and for delivering the realm she became or she came to be revered as the Oracle of Light. After stopping the flood, the mysterious maiden vanished without a trace. But 15 years later, her name would unexpectedly reappear in the annals of history. When Sin Eaters laid ruin to the kingdom of Vobert, a young girl was discovered who was immune to the creature's blighted touch. One with hair of spun gold and eyes of clearest sapphire. She was hailed as the Oracle Reborn and came to likewise be called Minfilia. Enlisting in the Yomoran army, this Minfilia fought and vanquished countless Sin Eaters. So Yomor was back like 90 years ago, eh? 90, or 85 years ago as well. Alas, like so many other soldiers, she eventually met her end in battle. Yet with her dying breath, she whispered unto her grieving comrades, Minfilia will return. That's not creepy or ominous at all, eh? Not at all. She looks like a two-year-old in that. Maybe she is a two-year-old. Playing children. I forgot to study today. Well, it's a good thing I'm waking up early tomorrow to study. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing I got ahead, huh? Mm-hmm. And true to her words, some years later... Another young girl was discovered who possessed the self-same eyes, that self-same hair, and those self-same powers. She too took the name Infilia. She too fought Sin Eaters as a soldier of Yomor, and she too fell in battle. Many more were to follow in her footsteps, and so the cycle continues to this day. And that concludes the tale. By their valor and sacrifice, these women have saved Navrant on several occasions. And were it not for them, we might never have learned of the Light Wardens and their nature. They sound like formidable warriors. Some, perhaps. The truth is rather less simple. Though the Oracle is reborn with certain common traits, she does not inherit the memories or the knowledge of her previous incarnations. All of the Minfilias thus were far, thus far were discovered as ordinary girls, unversed in the ways of war and ignorant of the powers they harbored. While some embraced their fate and devoted themselves to training, others did not. But all were made to face the Sin Eaters, and all died to keep our hopes alive. Wow. Why can't people do their own shit? It's always like, oh, hey, Warrior of Light, can you go do all this for me? Did you oh, not hey. read any of this? You, I guess you skipped it pretty much. Oh. It wasn't voiced, so you didn't read it. <laughs> hmm? Oh, you're, oh, we're on the same part, aren't we? I'm a little further than you. Oh, isn't that voiced? No, it's not. Lame. What can you tell us of the current Minfilia? She was found by the Yomoran army some ten years ago and taken into their care. My hair is on my glasses. Or rather, their custody. She was a prisoner in all but name. For by that time, under Lord, Lord Bothry's rule, Yomor had already abandoned resistance in favor of decadence. Minfilia was an uncomfortable reminder of the war they no longer wished to fight. 
a potential threat to the peace, and so they kept her under lock and key. For a long while, we heard nothing more of her. We couldn't even be certain she was alive, save that it was in the Yomorian's best interest for her to remain under their control. But then, three years ago, a gallant soul stole into the city and rescued her from their clutches, just like a hero from the tales. Indeed. Well, I believe we now have a good grasp of Minfilia's tale. Thank you for your time, Morin. Might I trouble you for a word, Glacier, outside? I have a feeling it was Thancred. Thancred probably broke in and uh, saved Minfilia. That's like the cutscene opening. Exactly. But she looks like a little girl. Because it is it is Minfilia, but not fully. Mm-hmm. Because she like, went into the Aether. So it's the newborn. Yeah. Minfilia. They're all Minfilias. Mm-hmm. As you will have Minfilia already surmised, the, the gallant soul who rescued Minfilia was none other than our own dear Thancred. Um. But, um, does that mean Tanghalium and Billy is a god? She just keeps coming back? I wouldn't call her a god. I guess, like, the closest comparison would be to Christianity. In how Jesus isn't god, but rather, like... Don't use that as a reference. Why? That's just gonna end wrong with for you. Huh? No, like... Because it's not the same Minfilia every time. It's a new being. It's technically all still Minfilia. It's just... They're all Minfilia. They just don't have, have memories. memories. That's it. But some of them don't react the same and choose other paths. Yeah, they just don't have the same memories, but they're all Minfilias in terms of everything they can do. And they look all the same. Yeah, but the one right now is a child. They all start as children. Mm. Mm -hmm. They have since been wandering the land together, never remaining in one place for long, which is why we have not yet had a chance to meet them. We know that Minfilia journeyed here as Hydaelyn's emissary to halt the flood of light. It could only be her that the people of the first witnessed a hundred years ago, the original Oracle of Light. But while there's plainly some connection between the women or woman we knew and her namesakes, the fact that these girls do not share her memories must surely mean they are not the same person. Thancred has to understand that. I have no doubt that he understands. The question is how he feels. Regardless, the Thancred we know would not forsake his charge. If she has been captured, we may be certain he will not stand idly by. Hmm. There you go again, talking in your roundabout way. If you think we should rescue Minfilia, just spit it out. It just so happens I agree with you. It's quite clear that this Minfilia possesses Hydaelyn's blessing. And it wouldn't hurt to have a second such individual on our side. Right, Clutchard? Ha! Huh, we can be cocky or we can just say quite. I'm gonna go with quite. I feel like we wouldn't really be cocky as a warrior of darkness. Now. <laughs> I see you've made up your minds. Exarch, what brings you here? A report and a proposal. First, a report. Our scouts have confirmed that the Yomaran forces at Lax and Loft do indeed have Minfilia in their custody. For the present, they are holding her there, but we can be certain they will move her to Yomor ere long. Should that happen, we may be forced to give her up as lost. So if we mean to act, we must do so quickly. Which brings me to my proposal. I ask that you entrust this undertaking to us, the people of the Crystarium. Uh, 
I think I'm gonna call it here for tonight. Um. Okay. Yeah, because the next one's like that long cutscene that you just saw me in. Yeah, and we're already um, 30 minutes into it. Do you want to?